Hello, today I will talk a little bit about Noah and the Ark. Before we get into the story, let me tell you a little fact about this story. Noah actually means rest in Hebrew. Noah also did everything just like God commanded him. You can find this mini scripture in Genesis 6:27. Did you know Noah's father was the was the one who predicted the flood? Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people. Three son Noah had three sons: Shem, Ham, and Japheth. It begins when God said to Noah, "I have determined." To make an end of all flesh from the earth is filled with violence because of them. Now I am going to destroy them along with the earth. Make yourself an ark of cum- cypress wood. Make rooms in the ark and cover it inside and out with per- with pitch. This is how you are to make it. The length of the ark, 300 cubits. Its width, 50 cubits. And its height, 30 cubits. Make a roof for the arks and finish it to a a cubit above. And put the door of the ark in uh, in its side. Make it with lower... Make... Make it with lower, second, and third decks. Then the Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark. You you and all your household, for all I've you and all your household, for I have seen that you alone are righteous before me in this generation. Take with you seven pairs of clean animals. Take with you seven pairs of clean animals, the male and its mate. And the pair of the animals that are not clean, the male and its mate. And seven pairs of the birds of the air also, male and female. Noah with his sons and wives went into the ark to escape the waters of the flood. Of the clean animals and animals that are not clean, and all and of birds and all and of everything that creeps on the ground, two and two, male and female, went into the ark with Noah, as God had commanded Noah. After seven days, the waters of the flood came on the earth. In the 600th year of Noah's life, on that day, all the fountains of the great deep burst forth, and the windows of the heavens were opened. The rain fell on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. And all the domestic animals of every kind went inside the ark as God had com- commanded him. And the last sh- and the Lord shut him up, shut him in. Only Noah was left and those that were with him in the ark. And the water swelled on the earth for 150 days. Then God made a wind blow over the earth as the water subsided. At the end of 150 days, the waters had abated in the 10th month on the first day of the month. The tops of the mountains appeared. Noah sent a dove from him. The The dove went back to Noah in the ark and found that the dove had an olive tree in its beak. That was when Noah knew the waters had subsided. He sent out the same dove and waited seven days. And with that story, the end.